building an Apple Watch charging station wasn't exactly solving a major problem. But let's pretend it was. My last project involved constructing a mechanical giraffe. It had a lot of pieces and it took quite some time to make. Honestly, I just wanted a smaller and simpler project to work on. Charging my watch right now is as simple as placing it on a magnetic charger, although the cord seemed to have a mind of its own, wandering freely around my desk. And that's a problem. I wanted to create something that would keep the charger in place and provide a way to securely attach my watch. First step was to measure the charger. Without any fancy tools, a simple plastic ruler did the trick. The charger's diameter was approximately 27 mm and the cord was around 4 mm. I made a quick 3D version of it in 3D CAD software. And now I have a solid scale reference when testing different designs. So I started designing some shapes without any clear direction in mind. The first idea that came to me was to create an oval shape, thinking it would be perfect for fitting the whole watch and the band included. Then I experimented with a few other shapes. But none of them really worked out. So for a brief moment I turned to the dark side and asked the robots for some help. It looked pretty cool, but where's the fun in that? Instead of just creating random 3D shapes, I decided to focus on something more functional. I envisioned a three-layer charging dock. The first layer would be solid, the second would hold the charger, and the third would hold the watch. Systematically, I followed this idea by extruding cylinders, cutting the charger's shape from one of them, and the watch shape from another. Then I combined them all together. I wasn't really sure that I really liked the design, but my impatience got me. Without overthinking it, I went ahead and printed it. Testing it revealed that the dimensions were off the charger could slip out. Plus, it didn't feel like a fun product. I needed a new approach. Then, I had a fun idea. Since a 3D printer builds objects from 2D layers, I decided to simplify things. I want to create a straightforward 2D design and then extrude it into a 3D shape. No complicated forms that change the direction during the print. My goal was to explore a lot of different 2D shapes. So I picked up two pens, a blue and an orange. The blue one represents the shape, and the orange represents where the smartwatch and charger could be. As I began sketching shapes, some of them turned out quite weird. Although some of them made sense in an intriguing way, so I decided to turn them into 3D shapes and see if they had potential and some of them had, so I made another one. And then I tested another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. And finally, after experimenting, I stumbled upon a particular shape that caught my eye. I took a screenshot of it, duplicated it, and flipped it. Together, these two shapes formed a triangle. A very simple shape, but potentially this could be a cool design. So I gave it a shot. 
I made a little sketch. This could be simple, yet pretty interesting. So I transferred the sketch into a 3D program, extruded it and removed the parts of the shape for the charger and the watch. To ensure that the charger stays in place, I made another cylinder that fit the outside of the charger and created a place where it could fit on the back side. I also added a hole where the cord could go out on the back side. Finally, I added some surface texture, incorporating lines to create an interesting pattern, and then I printed it. I like it, it looks interesting, but the charger falls out in the front again. So I tighten the hole, I add some color to it, and I remove the surface texture and printed it again. In the end, after a journey of a lot of iterations, I feel like I arrived at a sleek and functional design that became uniquely mine. This was a super fun project and I look forward to my next one. See you then.